Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you for watching. Do appreciate it. How are you doing? You okay? Today is Thursday and it is a glorious day today. Sun is out and it's actually pretty toasty today. Uh, in my last video I was like, oh, don't let the sun fool you. It's three degrees or whatever. It's actually 14 and a half degrees today. It is, it is toasty. Um, to the extent that I can't talk for long with the windows up because I've got no aircon in this truck and it gets bloody warm. <laughs> anyway, uh, today's Thursday. Um, today is my last full day of working. Uh, uh, I am in tomorrow, but I've only got like, I'd say half a day, but from what's planned, it could be less than that. Uh, and then I'm off for a week um, on holiday and then, uh, and then I'm getting married. So um, yeah. <laughs> This will be uh, the last video I upload as a single man. So I'm sorry, ladies and guys. <laughs> um, I'm taken. Should have put a ring on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this, this will be the last video, last vlog as a uh, single man. Going to be married next week. We were supposed to get married in November, but um, obviously COVID put a stop to it. Uh, it, got, <laughs> it got to like, we were like a, a month before the actual due day. Uh, and then Boris said no more weddings so uh, yeah we had to uh, postpone it and move it forward well move it back sorry in every year um, but then we decided just to move it forward to, to June so yeah next Friday 4th of June is when I shall be getting married I'm sure I'll put some pictures up on social media so if you want to take a look feel free um, but yeah with regards to today so I've already done one delivery down into Exeter uh, I, I should have should have started really with that one, but I've decided to, to start on the way up. We're on our way to Portbury Docks now. We need to get reloaded with Slate. We need to take the Slate to Aylesbury. Uh, from Aylesbury, we then need to go to Leighton Buzzard, get reloaded with tiles, uh, and then we need to take those tiles to uh, Oxford to do a trailer swap to bring the trailer back to Swindon. And then um, the boss is doing a night run, and then he'll be coming back from the night run, pick up the trailer I got loaded for Swindon and then Friday all I've got to do is do the delivery into Swindon. I plan on vlogging today and tomorrow so you should see one collection, one delivery, another collection and a delivery. Yeah, two collections, two deliveries and a trailer swap. So otherwise it'd be a bit short otherwise. But yeah, uh, we're on our way to Portbury so let's get our foot down, let's crack on there and then um, we can go to uh, uh, Aylesbury. I'm assuming it's International Slate Supplies, that's where it normally is. Bit of an awkward reverse in but uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, this looks like, looks like they're about to load me. Okay, maybe not then. Gone around the back of me. Okay, yeah, maybe he is. He's coming, he's coming back round, he's coming back round. <laughs> That's on. Yeah. Right, I reckon I'm gonna start getting the straps out ready to go. Uh, so we can start strapping up as he uh, as he goes along. Saves us a bit of time. So, see you in a bit. Right, okay, we're now fully loaded. Uh, these are all the slates that we got on. So we've got 20 pallets, uh, 10 either side. Just gonna, just gonna walk over here so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, 10, 10 pallets by either side, so 40 in total. And uh, decided to uh, use the ratchets, one this side, one that side, one this side, one that side, just to mix up a little bit, no real reason. <laughs> but that's it. Anyway, we've got to go, uh, go get our paperwork now and then um, we'll make our way to, uh, to uh, where are we going? Aylesbury, that's it. I, for I forgot where we were going. Right, we are fully loaded, fully strapped, and we have our paperwork. I'm just connecting my phone to the Bluetooth because for some reason it keeps disconnecting every time I turn my ignition off, which is really frustrating. But never mind. 
I'm going to undo my windows so I'm getting hot, so I just need to secure the paperwork so it don't fall off. That can go there. Let's go back. Oh no, I don't want the map. Got a sat nav built into this. Oh, fancy. Nothing, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> right. Let's get crack a lack in. We are going to International Slate Surprise. Yeah. Not surprise. International Slate Supplies, as I suspected. It's just a, just a very common uh, delivery point that we often go to. So. There we go, all strapped up. It's quite cool going in there sometimes. You get like loaded with like really heavy reels of steel. And it's like one lift on and that's it, done. <laughs> it's quite cool. Takes longer than the other end though. Ah, da -da -da -da. Right. Can't go left. I'd like to be able to go left, but we can't go left. Going left would mean we uh, skip out the yellow thing over there we've got to go to. Just gonna put that bit of paper down a sec. There you go, I've got two hands. Two hands on the wheel. Stop leaving crap all over the road. Thank you very much. Du, du, du. Clear left and right. Let's go. Go left again into the barriers. Left. Now, I don't actually know if there's like a set speed limit you have to go through here. I got no idea if you can just plow straight through or what, I don't know, but I tend to do like quite slow. Uh, they're just waving me fast, look. I'm coming. They want me to stop, 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 they want me to stop. Me to stop. Me to stop. You wait. We're good to go, we're good to go, we're good to go. She was telling me to come. She was telling me to stop. I was like, well, what am I doing? I'm, I'm assuming the scanners work and then it analyzes it or something. That's why she said stop, wait for the thumbs up. Okay, then go. Don't know, no idea. Let me know if you know, because I ain't got a clue. Not a Scooby-Doo. I think they're scanning for, hang on. Andy did tell me, Andy, if you're watching this. What was it? I can't remember now. Uh, radioactivity. That's the one. And there you go. <laughs> I guess they... Uh, <laughs> Hello, if you're watching. I guess you recognise me. Right, let's go. Get this gate pass ready for the Mr. Policeman. Or woman, or woman. It was a man when I come in there. Ba 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 ba. I think you thought I was going to keep going through, Tom, did you not? Hello, mate. All good? Thank you. Find a gear, thank you very much. Right, we're clear to go. We're gonna go straight to Aylesbury, no stopping. It's two and a half hours there. Should be there for about quarter to two. They're normally pretty quick once you get in, to be fair. So I uh, can't imagine us being there much later than half two. Um, and then less than an hour up to Leighton Buzzard. So that's putting it about half past three up to Leighton Buzzard, maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, hopefully we get loaded, I was just gonna cause problems, but <laughs> let's not think about problems just yet. Let's just crack on, crack on. Let's not be def a defeatist, as me and Andy say. All right. Come on through, come on through, mate. Ah, oh, slow down. Excellent, eh? You're welcome, thank you. Right, let's go. See you in a bit.
Okay, round the roundabout we go. Apologies for anyone who follows me. Network rail van. I do apologise, mate. I will be slowing you down if you're following me. Which he is. Let's hope he is professional and uh, does stop for me. Now, this is all the traffic coming back with us. Hopefully there's going to be a gap. And... Uh, we can get to our place before uh, before it comes over uh, before the traffic comes again. That's what I'm trying to say. Ba, ba, ba. Right, this will be the gap in the traffic. See, there's nothing coming down at all because of those traffic lights. Hazards are on. Warning the vehicles behind us. Just put my hand out to say stop. The van did try to come down. But I'll quickly shut them off. Make your boys move in the digger, excellent. Thank you. I think I've got a bowl belt. As it's going fast. forward that should be enough right let's go see the bloke and uh, get these off see you in a bit do you know I often get asked if I'm a bad boy are you a bad boy Luke yes I'm a bad boy there's the proof keep off the grass right we're just walking over to the other side of the road just to get a picture really Get a picture of where we just delivered. Yes, yeah, so we just reversed from uh, from there to over there. It got really busy just now, but the road's gone quiet again, which is good. But it does really get quite busy. There you go. Look, we've got some cars coming down now. Uh, so yeah, there she is. Let's quickly cross again before they come. Just gonna just gonna wait for these uh, slates now to come off. And then what I will do is, uh, I'm going to jump in the truck now. I'll stay, I'll stay in the truck because once he's done one side, I've got to move over to the other. Yeah, then I'll move over to this side and then you can then do the other side. But yes, there we go. Is that the last one? I think there's one more. It's a bit, it's a bit hard to tell from uh, the position that we're in. I think we've got one more pallet left to come off and then we can uh, get our foot down and, and head to where it was be. I've had two trucks beep their horn as they pass me. Um, I've either annoyed them or they recognise me, one or the other. So if it was you, hello. I did, uh, one of you, one of you I was busy reversing so I, couldn't, I didn't actually say hello but the other one I put my thumbs up. She is. Uh, right, let's connect my phone. I've got the uh, thingy on now. I think this is the last one coming off. I did say to him, I said, just give us a toot when you take the last one off. There we go. We're done. We are done. Right, we've got to go back a little bit just so we can actually see to the left because uh, I'm at a bit of a weird angle. So I'm just going to go left a bit so I can see to the left there we go and I think we can go straight out look at that lovely doubly straight out yes 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 <laughs> say goodbye wicked 
Right, so now... Got the windows up a little bit. Now we're heading uh, straight to Leighton Buzzard where we get loaded out of Forty Creek. We've got to get loaded with uh, tiles for Swindon, but we're not actually taking that tra this, well, this trailer back to Swindon. We've got to drop this trailer off, hook up to another trailer. Uh, the boss is going to go and do that delivery tonight and then take the trailer back, hick, hick up back hook, hook, hook up back to this trailer, bring that one back to the yard and then tomorrow I'll just uh, deliver it in the morning and then get reloaded for uh, whoever's driving Tuesday because bank holiday Monday and I'm on holiday as well. Yes! Not that I'm going anywhere nice, just, just having a week off before I get married. Doing it, doing it arse around tit, as someone said. <laughs> Having the, uh, having the week off before the wedding rather than the week after the wedding. Why not? Everything else has been uh, been messed up this year and last year because of COVID. So let's keep on with tradition, eh? Right, let's uh, let's crack on. We've got a 35-minute drive to Leighton Buzzard. I'm hot, so I'm undoing my window. And uh, it means the audio is probably going to be a little bit bad. So I'm going to go. I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, we are loaded. They're going to start calling me half a load loop because we've only got uh, 12 pallets. <laughs> Six either side. Right, I've got to take these orange trousers back off. Because I ain't driving around in them. And get a bit hot and sweaty in there. Bit of condensation, lovely. Spay some... Uh, deodorant because I'm a bit sweaty right hard hat can go back up there don't need that for the rest of the day Ugh. let's get uh, my boots back on let's get the phone connected and positioned Paperwork is there. Right, we're good to go. Seatbelt. Right. We were in and out. We've only been here 20 minutes. Lovely. Uh, we're on three hours and six minutes of driving time, so we've got an hour and 20 minutes left. Yeah. And uh, we're about an hour and 20 minutes away from Oxford. That's where we've got to drop the trailer off. So unless we, uh, we've got to make up some time on the way, otherwise we'll be stopping before we get there for a break, half an hour break. That's the plan. Uh, yeah, I've got one hour 22, no, sorry, one hour 24 minutes left and we're one hour 19 away. So it's touch and go. If we can get there in one go, I will because there's plenty of space to park up inside for a break. So that is the plan. Try and uh, get to Oxford to, uh, to tip the trailer. Let me go first, mate, and then you can go. Bit of a tail swing on that. There we go. Right, let's crack on to Oxford then and uh, see if we can get there before we need a break. See you in a bit. Right, so a uh, slight change of plan in the, uh, the, the, the fact, the sense, the, I don't know, slight change of plan in the, uh, whatever. <laughs> A420 is shut uh, at Kingston Bag, Bag Peas, Bag Pies, Bag Quies, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's shut at the A420. So we've had to come via the A34 down to Newbury Junction um, 14 and then westbound on the M4 to go to, up to 15. Yes, that's right. There's memory services. Um, so we're only about eight miles away now from, uh, from Junction 15. And what we're going to do is we're going to meet the boss um, underneath the bridge. <laughs> as dodgy as that sounds, um, there's a, like a little bit of a lay-by uh, underneath one of the bridges there. So we're going to meet up there and uh, quickly do a driver swap he's then going to crack on and then uh, you'll see me in the morning um we haven't got to do a mega mega really start it does stay on the paperwork delivery instructions between 8 a.m and um 4 p.m 
So, and it's only going to like take 15 minutes to get there, if that, 20 tops. So I'm probably going to get into work tomorrow about 7 o'clock, which is nice, nice and late. Don't have to be mega, mega early. In fact, I might actually, I might have to start earlier. If, it depends on where the boss parts the truck. I'll have to have a word with him. So, uh, yeah, so that's it from today. You're going to see me in a minute. It's going to be the next day, next morning. Uh, we're going to do the, the run to Swindon. Then we're going to go get loaded from Tetbury and then strap that up, bring it back to the yard and uh, f- fuel up, maybe, potentially. No, I don't think I need to fill up. Might need that, but uh, and then it would be done. It would be done for the, for the weekend and for the week because uh, I'll be off um, going on holiday. Going down to Devon over the weekend, coming back over Monday, Tuesday and then uh, preparing for the wedding on Friday. So I will see you in the morning. Right, we are back in the yard. Ignition on. Oh, let's turn that down. Boss is listening to Radio 1. That's the dash cam kicking in. Right, card in. We've got to do some manual entries, do some paperwork, and uh, and then start cracking on with the day. Let's get the engine warmed up. Ah, right, last withdrawal, 1841. Is that correct? No, it's not. Want to do a manual entry because uh, I was on other work. I was, I was specifically driving, but uh, you can't put that in. So put other work. Uh, the twenty seventh, which is yesterday, and I worked until seven o'clock. So it's better than uh, better than not doing it at all. So work until seven o'clock, correct? Um, and then I was on rest at seven o'clock. Well, I was on rest in, at seven o'clock until uh, seven thirty this morning when I got into work, and now I'm on. Other work again for the last seven minutes. Confirm entry. Okay, right, so that's the manual entry done. Uh, Got to do some paperwork and then we can uh, do some checks. Yeah, so we need to go to Red Row Red Row Homes. We need to find the site office, go to speak to them because they will know where they want it to be exactly. And then um, hopefully they can get it off nice and quick. Fingers crossed anyway, right. I'm just putting in the sat nav. I think I'm not even putting the postcode in. I'm pretty sure it is that turning there. So we will just head there. Just double check it says we'll be there after eight o'clock. Because if it does, we can make a move. It's quarter to eight now. Fifteen minutes. I think it is going to be about eight o'clock by the time we get there. Eight oh seven. Yeah, we'll make a move. We will make a move. Let's put my paperweight on and break off. We're good to go. Checks are done. We are a okay. Paperwork's done. Checks are done. Let's go. <laughs> right, so we're just coming off the motorway now. Well, not really a motorway, but you know what I mean. A four one seven. A four yeah. A four one nine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a motorway at all. It's A four one nine. Um, I need to go right. I, I can't remember if I can go all the way around in the left lane. So I'm just going to go over just in case. Bow, bow, bow. Ooh, folders just fallen off. Okay, we want to go left off here. Okay, past the hospital. Interesting fact, I was born in Swindon Hospital. Not that hospital, but another Swindon Hospital. It got knocked down, that's the new one. Okay, Badby Park, to the left. As I said, so I've been here, I've been here loads of times uh, in various different stages of my career, actually. Um, can we go left with the bus? Yeah, we can. 
with uh, with loads of different um, companies I've worked for. But um, I can just imagine me getting fobbed off, as in, I'd be like, yeah, I've got some tiles for you, but no one actually wants them. So anyway, uh, Babby Park, straight on. No lorries to enter before eight, maximum speed 20, cool. We're good. Beware, Red Room and Persimmon straight on. This is why we had to be here after eight o'clock because of all the houses. And I suspect the, uh, the locals actually film anyone coming in early, I guarantee it. Bradley Park, Red Row, delivery straight on. And we've got a load of tiles on, 12 pallets of uh, red tiles. Fingers crossed we can just go straight in. Someone replies, ah yeah, we need them over there. I'll go over there and then unstrap and then hopefully someone takes them all off. Nice and easy. That's that's the plan. Also, sites can get quite tight, so. Which we all know is my favorite saying. <sighs> da, 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 da. Straight on, straight on. Caution, concealed entrance, give way. Do I need to go left there? Hopefully not. I'm just wondering if that's the site office there. I don't know. That might be the site office there. We're going to keep going, we're going to keep going. Because there was not an awful lot of stuff there. Uh, Badger Park construction traffic, it was still going the right way. Session traffic straight on. Reception traffic left. Yeah, it's uh, not ideal for trucks, this. Do you want to talk to me or? No. Well, this this is definitely a site office, so I'm going to go speak to someone in the air. Put the old hazards on. People can get past me if they go on the curb. If they really want to. But yeah, we're going to stop here. Go speak to someone and see uh, see where we're wanting to be. See in a bit. So, so, we're in the right place. There's a lorry in there at the moment. There's a tra car coming out now, so I'm just gonna let that car out. Really? I'll go back a bit. There's a, 
the uh, the the person coming out of the driver's saying it's too too high for their car. I mean, I got a lower car than he has. I could get over that. Go back a bit more. Uh, I'll probably just wait here for a sec, blocking the entrance. Oh, you want me to go forward again? I think he wants me to go forward again. Is he, is he going over? He's worried about the, the lump in the kerb. If you stick your right wheel on the kerb, mate, your car will go up. Don't worry about it. Anyway, there, uh, there's a truck in there. He's just waiting for the truck to come out. When he does come out, I'll go forward so he can come out. And then uh, go from there. It's going to be a bit of a tight left, though. Hmm. Struggling to get round. They're, they're moving the fence out of the way, look. Yeah, this doesn't bode well, man. Try and get round now. We gotta do this in a sec. He made it. He's gotta watch his trailer now. I bet he's got rear steer on that trailer as well. I haven't got rear steer. Yeah, he's made it. Right, we better move out of the way. We don't have the luxury of rear steer like he does by the looks of it. This isn't gonna bode well if we can't even get in the first entrance. Yeah, just made it, just made it. Let's do these windows up a sec. I just spoke to that um, Teleander and he's told me to park across here. So that's the plan. That is a bit of a tight turn. There's another Teleander there. Close that fence on the left. All right, now we go in reverse. I don't know where Vaxi wants me, that's the thing. Why didn't be stopping here? Let's go and have a word with someone. Yeah. And then reverse down there, yeah? Yeah, just down there. 
All right, mate, no worries. Ba, ba, ba. So they need to go back a bit more, uh, which means going down the, uh, the road on the left of me. So I need to get a different angle. Yeah, I did say this was going to be fun, didn't I? So right now, no one can get to us. We're just out of the way. <laughs> There's uh, where they're offloading me. is literally in this little bit here. So I'm going to have to move backwards and forwards when they've uh, when they've taken bits and bobs off. And then this is the left turn we've got to make. Jesus Christ! I don't think I'm making that. Right, situation is this. <laughs> it's quarter to nine now. They still haven't taken a single one off yet. And they've now just said they're going to offload me off on the main road. So I've come in for no reason. I don't think I'm going to make that left turn. So I'm going to try and reverse it to the right there. This is going to be tight. But I think this is my best chance of getting out. Should be clear on the left. Just a case of swinging that ass round. Come on, baby. Swing round. too much. Oh, too much. Literally just too much. Let's try now. Basically, I need to have enough room on my left to start spinning out. Right, we've got a bit more room now on my left. I'm gonna have to stop there a sec. And right again. Oh, that's so close. Can <laughs> you see how close that is? Left again. Right, again, this should be the last, the last right and then the last left. Just got to uh, watch that I don't kick out and grab that concrete on the way out. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nearly, nearly good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, man. She's going to do us from the road now. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. <coughs> so we've come in here for no reason, basically. And all that reversing was for no reason. But oh well, test is, tests your, your, uh, your skill, doesn't it, I suppose. So we need to park parallel to this junction. Oh. Nothing is getting down here while we're doing this anyway. Well, we just have to keep moving backwards and forwards. This Teleander, come on, man. You should be ready and waiting. I'm ready, mate. I'm here, Re ready and waiting for you. Come on. I think. About there, I think. Dude, he's still over there. Come on, man. Ah, <sighs> I'm here, ready. Like, it's, it's 10 to 9 now in the morning. You know, it won't be long. Add blue low, yes, okay. It won't be long until we've been here for an hour and not had one off yet. 
Shut up, I know. I blew slow. I only got to do a little bit of driving today and then we're going back to the yard. Yay, we're finally being offloaded. Here he comes. Yeah, you take those tiles off. Yeah. You have them. I don't want them. You take them. Thank you. Shaman. <laughs> I don't know where he's taking them. Yeah, they're just going over there, look, so you ain't got far to go. Uh, but that's, that was a bit annoying going in there for no reason, but never mind, it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll get this offloaded and then we'll crack on. And see more to go. Yeah. Right. Well, it is 9.07 now, we've been here for an hour. Uh, I think we've got one or two more left to come off, I think. He has already signed the paperwork, so we can just go as soon as he, as soon as he's done. I mean, we can't go yet because there's a bloody car in front of us. But I can see all the pallets there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be four left to go then. Uh, this Teleander just keeps stopping, keeps talking to people. Come on, mate, just, just, just offload me, yeah. It's a Friday, and I want to go home. I mean, I've got half a day today, I know, but... <laughs> We've got to go check me from here. Um, it's about 45 minutes, 50 minutes from here. So uh, we're looking at being in Tetbury just after 10 o'clock. Uh, probably be there for an hour or so, and then back to the yard. So we're looking at being back in the yard by 12 still. Uh, let's say 1 o'clock the latest, because I need to get our blue, as it keeps telling me it's low. Um, but it lasts really long in this truck. You can have a whole tank of Ablu, it lasts for about two weeks. Trouble is, the boss has been using it for the night run as well, so it's been going down a bit quicker. But, um, yeah, I know he would have enough for yesterday, and uh, I thought I'd have enough for today. And I kind of do, it's on the red, but I've only got to go up the road and back, so, yeah, should be all right. Right, is this the last one coming off? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, this is the last one because there's eleven over there. So this will be the last one. Just wait for a honk for confirmation. Good timing because the van's just cleared off as well. Get a thumbs up as well, hopefully. Actually, I don't think I will get a thumbs up because you can't see me because of the boom. Honk. 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 Or give me a thumbs up, one or the other. Oh, come on, man. I'm sure that's the last one, just tell me. So annoying, just tell me it's the last one, man. Is that the last one, mate? Yeah, yeah cheers, mate. Thanks for letting me know. Right, we're off. Just winds me up, like, give a thumbs up, give a toot, just politeness. I can't see from where I am. If there's one on the headboard, you can't see it from the driver's seat. I mean, yeah, I could just get out, but never mind. Right. <laughs> Let's go. He's just, oh, man. I'm sure he's a nice bloke, but he's just talking to everyone. Not being very communicative. Going and telling me to go and meet him down the road, so, well, the end of the road, so he can offload me. And then I'm waiting. <laughs> it's like, we've got places to be, mate. <laughs> right. We're off. I'm not moaning. I don't moan. <laughs> um... Yeah, we're off. Sat nav is telling me to go via the motorway. I'm not going via the motorway. 
I'm going to go down towards Cricklade and um, go the back roads there. Nah, that's my, that's my preferred route. That is the way I'm going to go. Right, let's go to Tetbury. See you in a bit. And there you have it. We are fully loaded, uh, netted and strapped down. Good to go. This load's going to Leicester. I'm not taking it. I think uh, I think the boss is taking it tomorrow or someone on Tuesday, not sure. But uh, yeah, there we go. We're done. We're done for the day. We're done for the week. We're done for next week as well because we're not coming back for a week. Uh, I think I'm wording that wrong because I said just now to James in the office, I said, uh, last week. <laughs> he said, what, you leaving? No, no, just, just a week off. So I think I'm, think I'm wording it wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we're good to go. I'm going to head back to the yard now. Time is about half past 11 in the morning, so still nice and early. Get back to the yard, fill up with our blue, take all my stuff out, and we'll, uh, we'll go home. And we'll uh, enjoy our week. And yeah, if you excuse me, I'm going to go and have a holiday and go and get married. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon.